of how far I've come in the middle of all my trolling. Okay, yes, I troll. Whatever. Troll land has entered the chat. Trolling is fucking fun, okay? Like, I am obsessed with being the troll queen. Like, literal troll land entered the chat. But in the- I hate it here. Hey, what up you guys? It is voiceover Sassy Assassin here, back with another episode of Illusion and Delusion, aka Amberlynn Reed. So in today's episode, I will be reacting to Sushi Pizza, All the Calories, What I Ate Today, Episode 4. So yes, once again, I am doing voiceover because my acne has not cleared up well enough for me to feel comfortable to come on camera. I have some treatments on right now while I'm filming this, so... Yeah, um, but I'm excited to say that I finally got my new PC today. It's not like set up yet. I'm still using the laptop, but um, I'm going to be setting it up this weekend. I'm really excited because it's like, it's here. I've been waiting for almost two years for this moment and it's finally here. So I'm going to be putting my game capture card in once everything is set up and my card is in and I have everything set up. You know all my apps and everything on the computer i will be ready to freaking stream game you know my games again i i i'm with my twitch and everything like and i can start you know stream you know streaming on here as well and i'm doing you know i'm planning on streaming a game on here i think i'm choosing it to be uh assassin's creed valhalla i'm mean, sorry no um odyssey so i have three games on my on my uh I have three games on my on my Xbox right now. It's Valhalla, Far Cry, f um, Far Far Cry Six, and Odyssey. So Valhalla, Odyssey, and Far Cry Six. So I'm I'm really excited. Oh my god! I just can't believe it's here. Like I cannot believe the moment is here. Like I'm afraid. I'm just like afraid. Like I'm gonna wake up and it, it's all gonna be a dream. But it's not a dream. It's actually happening. <laughs> um. Uh, the computer I got is a CyberPower PC. It's a i7 um, generation 12. So it's it's the new one that literally just came out this year. So yeah, I can't afford an i9. Like those are like three thousand dollars. This one was relatively cheap. So um, I'm writing. I'm leasing to own, but which is a little bit more. But it's it was the only way I could do it. And I literally just ordered some new earphones because my gym, like I have some gym ones, okay, like re you know regular like the earbuds, whatever. But due to like I get really bad ear infections because I have very small ear canals, so I I realize that those aren't the kind best kind of ear headphones to use, so. Um, I got some other ones. I got two. I got this JBL one that went to crap really quick. And then I got this Rock, I think it's Rock Steady or something like that. Um, and, uh, I can't, was it Rock Steady? I can't, I can't remember the brand. Wait, hold on. Let's see what the brand is. What does it say on here? I don't think it says it. Does it say it? Like, Skull Candy. Sorry, Skull Candy. And those went to crap really fast. So I decided to buy, um... A pair of beats not the um the noise canceling ones because i can't afford those ones but um the studio um the, the solo three ones so i'm really hoping that those will be okay um i heard they're really good headphones and um i'm just excited there should be coming in the mail tomorrow so i also got some covers for when i sweat at the gym um, they have these covers you can buy on Amazon. So for anybody who has those and who works out with those, they actually have covers to protect your um, the barrier or whatever because the sweat can get into like the, the speaker or whatever can cause all kind of crap. So I'm just like, I'm protecting my my un th that unit because um, I, I don't want to have to like return these ones because I'm already having to return two already because they crapped out on me. Anywho, um, Amberlynn, she has once again sunk even lower than I thought she could, she 
already sink. Like, just when you think she couldn't sink lower, she manages to surprise you. So, uh, Becky came out with a video, I think today or yesterday, um, stating that she was upset, that she had watched this video by Karina Kaboom, and it was about this comment that Amber, that um, Emma had, had left under one of Alex's Shooks videos talking about Becky and how Amber was hiding her, the fact that she was questioning her sexuality from Becky for four years and Becky was pretty upset about it, which is understandable. And pretty much to, to break it down in simple terms here, Becky wishes that Amber, Amber, Amber should have just told the freaking truth instead of hiding it from Becky. Um, if I was Becky, I'd be pretty upset because this is just another thing on top of all the lies that Amber has told. You know, I understand, you know, it's hard for anyone to be in a situation when you're questioning your sexuality, okay? But when you're in a relationship with somebody, that's something you need to be open about, I, I, I would think. You know what I mean? Like... And I guess Becky has had this trouble before with previous partners, and I, I guess it's just another, it's just, it's just a na kind of a nail on the coffin kind of thing. And I think it, from what I understand, it was one of the main thing reasons why Becky broke up with her. And I'm so glad that Becky has finally spoken out about this and called Amber out because Amber deserve, deserves to be called out for her bullshit. Like... I don't understand how Becky be see how Becky be seem so reserved, like and just like I would be like brimming with anticipation to like reveal all the secrets, because let's face it, Becky, what this wasn't a relationship like a romantic relationship. This was a transactional, codependent caretakership. Becky took care of Amber. Okay, Becky did so much for Amber, it's insane. And I have a sneaking suspicion it's the same thing with the girlfriend. And the, and the new wifey does not seem very pleased a lot of the times to be with Amber. Like you, There's no um, like emotion in her voice when Amber talks to her on camera. It's like she just seems very dull. Like very kind of lifeless. I don't, I, I, I don't know if... Am I the only one getting that kind of vibe from wifey because... She doesn't seem pretty excited to be with him. Or maybe it's because she just doesn't want to be on camera. But, like, I don't know. I just get this vibe that things aren't what they should be. <laughs> or maybe she's starting to realize how Amber really is. Maybe, you know, the fairy, fairy, uh, not the fairy, the fairy tale, the honeymoon stage is over and whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But I feel pretty bad for, wife or for wifey for being stuck with Amber Lynn. But let's face it, uh, according to Amber, she can she makes her own money and she can leave at any time. Like seriously. I <sighs> Amber is not the kind of partner I'd want. Like and it was funny cuz I was thinking the same thing about Chantel, like who would want these girls? I mean, I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything. Okay, but they are so emotionally unstable and so narcissistic and far up their own asses that I I couldn't imagine a future with any of these girls. Like, and Chantel's like, oh, all these guys want me. Like, bitch, what? And Amber acts like she's the shit, and Chantel literally says in her one of her live streams, well, if you if you're not looking like hot. Sh hot shit that you don't have a right to, you know, to criticize me. I'm just like, honey, you look like, I, I don't even know, like, y you look so horrible. You you've gained so much weight. You look, you look horrible. You look horrible. And you sound horrible. Like, you sound like you're, you're losing a lung. Like, my fucking God. Like, whew. Like, I, I am so glad I am not them. I am so glad I cannot relate. Yeah, my health isn't the greatest, and yeah, I'm overweight, but damn it, I'm glad I'm not in that si those situations, because I don't know how I would handle it. But anyways, let's get into the video. I am eager to get this done and over with. So, like in, in the previous videos, I will have a clip at the end of the video um, with everything that Amber ate and how much calories she actually ate 
And um, if anybody could um, answer my previous question in, in my one of my videos about the whole, uh, you know, Apple Watch thing. I have, like, the uh, Apple Fitness thingy, whatever, and what the, like, active calories mean or whatever. I, I'm, I'm just confused about it a little bit. Like, I, I, I said I was going to post my last workout on my community tab, and I'm, I'm going to do that. I forgot to do that yesterday, but because uh, I, f I filmed the previous video, um, I think it was yesterday. So um, I will be posting that soon. So, because I, I really need to know, like, what that all means, because it's just it's confusing to me. Okay, so I have this on 1.5, no, 1.25. Hello, welcome to day four of daily vlog slash what I ate today slash calories slash I don't know what this is. But welcome out of 10. So this is currently what I'm doing. I am trying to decide what I want to eat. So I'm on Uber and I figured I would vlog. Why can't you just eat at home? You have food. Why if you're not? This is so fucking ridiculous. Just get off your fat duff. Go in the kitchen. Open your refrigerator or and look for something to eat. Make yourself a sandwich, some apple slices, some carrots, whatever, with some peanut butter. There. I just created a meal for you. Of this experience, because this is literally how it goes usually. Um, and I'm just like, hmm. Speaking of rich, th there's this to tofu turkey brand. It's a little expensive, but I got it on sale. And, oh my god. I yesterday I had an amazing sandwich oh my god i put some like avocado on it like oh it was so good but then i like ugh, i over ate a little bit with my last meal i had like a a lot of to barbecue tofu with some mashed potatoes because i just was not feeling good and i just needed something in my stomach because it was a sandwich and then there was that so i'm like oh my god i've only eaten like twice today oh <sighs> Yeah, I, I just was not feeling good yesterday. I did not even go to the gym yesterday because I was feeling so shitty. I, I, it was a heat combined. Just, just antibiotics. Like, you know, just that sometimes when you have a stomach problem and you get that burning in the bottom of your stomach, whatever, and then you just feel sick. Oh, God, it was bad. I just swear, I'm like, I, this, this new medication that I'm on, like, it's... Doesn't, I really don't fare well in the heat, I think. It just makes me feel sick. And I'm in, I was inside, but it's, like, so humid. Like, it's even with the air conditioning, it's penetrating inside of the house. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. Gross. What do I want to eat? What about the calories? What type of vibe am I feeling? And I just scroll and scroll and scroll. And then I look over at my girlfriend. What do you want to eat? What type of vibe are you feeling? And nine times out of ten, we kind of just go back and Cook forth at home. That. Cook at I don't home. know what type of vibe. Do you know what type of vibe, babe? Not the slightest. Like, for a minute there, I was looking at the pasta she moment. She does not sound in food and then I was whatsoever. She sounds like Becky in the relationship. Like, seriously. I was like, oh, but Chinese sounds good. And now I just don't know. So, I'm going to keep on scrolling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. Oh, babe, that place that we had the other day, they have it here. The Maggiano's Italian Classics. I didn't, but they have it here. <laughs> you know you love me. No, absolutely not. Ooh, Baskin Robbins. Hi, ma'am. Do you guys like Cracker Barrel? I'll tell you one thing. Their yes. chairs are tiny. So a girl with my type of butt, no. Or I don't have any problems with Cracker Barrel. Like seriously, even with at this size, I don't. Guy with my type of butt. I love Cracker Barrel. Love it. And you know what else I love? Playing chess there. That That's like the best. Like when I was a kid, my dad and I would always play chess. Or no, checkers, I'm sorry. Or a non-binary, you know. We can't sit there. It's not comfy. It's not fun. And the food is not worth it at all. So. Yes, it is. Fuck yeah. They have good food and they have awesome lemonade. Oh my god. I love Cracker Barrel. Bob Evans too. I they actually sell alcohol at Bob Evans. No, yeah, like seriously. Um, mimosas, whatever. Wine and mimosa. Oh, and then they have this new like sweet potatoes, um, grilled. Oh my god, it's so good. 
I had last time I was there, it was there. I had carrots. No, sorry, I had corn, uh, grilled chicken, and then um, the grilled uh, sweet potato. And then I decided to spring for a uh, <laughs> orange mimosa. <laughs> yeah, they give you like a small bottle of wine and like um, the orange juice. Oh my god, my mom and I shared it. it was so good. Ooh, a poke bowl. I don't know. Last time I had a poke bowl, the crab had like a really weird taste to it. And I said, no, no, no. They tried to send me to rehab. I knew you were going to look at me like that. So I had to. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. I'm going to decide. Sushi. How do you feel about sushi? Sushi's a winner. Sushi's a winner? <gasps> we decided. Okay. I'll show you when it gets here. I love you guys. Oh, wait. My way in. How she gets excited okay, we'll by get food. To, we'll get to. We'll get to. It's just. <laughs> It's food. It's sustenance. We'll get that it's later. Not okay, you guys. So here is my meal. I love I got sushi some fan. edamame, which I'm so excited to eat. Isn't this that like is a so lot good? Of it's like a garlic, meal. spicy seasoning that they put on top. And then here, this is a shrimp I've never had before. It's like sea bass and crab. Um, I wonder how much this costs. Peppers and um, I think some avocado. And then here is just like my go-to which is just like a crab mixture, which is so I good. And we have soy sauce and of course my favorite ginger. So I will have I the calories ginger. after this because I have not logged them yet. So yeah, this my, is my uh, first. My grandfather, um, my mom's dad, uh, loved those ginger candies, whatever. Uh, sugar, what is it? Ginger, it was like ginger and then had sugar on it, whatever. I can't remember what they're called. Like, he'd, he he could eat, like, a whole thing of that. Like, oh, my God, I can't. There's these ginger snaps you can get at, uh... Oh, what's it? Where is it? Uh... It's not Whole Foods. It's the other one. One of the, like, organic markets, whatever. Um, and they had these ginger snaps. We got them around, like... We had them around Christmas time. I remember when they had them on sale. And, uh... We got them like around the time when we all had COVID, whatever. And I swear to God, they were so like s spicy, like um, like we had a huge two. I, we got like two or three actually of them, like whatever. And um, that's what I I feel like that's another thing that helped me got through COVID was like these ginger snap cookies. Because, like, they opened my throat, like, and so I remember ordering ginger shots, whatever, from this place. What's it called? It's a common place. Um, not Whole Foods. What is it? Not Traders. Fresh Time. Um, and it's like, yeah, I ordered the, the shots from Fresh Time. Because we had to do Instacart since my dad was, like, incapacitated at the time in the hospital and then he had to have his hip surgery um the ginger shots like helped me get through covid i don't know if anybody who has to deal with covid like seriously i invest like in getting ginger shots like holy crap that's just like a, ginger and turmeric shots like totally amazing for like your immune system and everything really along with the cbd really helped me get through the the covid meal for the day my mom couldn't stand it but i'm just like mom you have to do this and she's just like why are you making me do this it's so spicy i'm just like mom it's gonna help us get through covid because <laughs> i felt fine i was like half the time i was like i'm okay like i just feel like i have a bad cold that was pretty much all i pretty much all oh yeah i did lose my my taste and my smell for a while and then I ha I would have I had this like six month period where it was just like my smell was so off like there was just like this awful smell that would follow me around and I thought is it me and you know I'm like what why am I smelling this odor and I thought do we have like a dead dead animal in our house and so when I went to my doctor I'm just like it follows me everywhere and he's like that's probably because you had COVID I'm just like oh wonderful like both my taste and my smell have never come back right like. I have a hard time with certain foods like carrots like they taste like soot to me like I, and I used to love carrots now I'm just like oh 
I have to have something on it just to be able to eat it because it tastes like soot. My and my new doctor does not understand. I'm like, I had COVID, and there are certain things that taste awful to me. He's like, well, what's one of the things? I'm just like carrots. I'm like, it tastes like soot to me. He's like, what? I'm like, it tastes like soot. Like, it's just awful, awful. So we love a taste test, and I have never had this sea bass sushi. I don't know what's happening here. So I'm going to dip it in my soy sauce, and we're going to do a taste test. I'm actually kind of nervous because I get nervous trying new sushis. That's just me. So let's go into it. I like her choker, though. One of her chokers. That has a little moon on it. Mmm. That's pretty good. Um... I feel like there's something missing. Wow. That's spicy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's also, like, shrimp. So, this is a better view for you guys. So, crab, shrimp, uh, avocado, oh and then the sea bass is on top. But I already took a bite of it. I'm not a fan of sushi. Like, Delicious. I had it once. At a mommy, though. Gross. Mm. But see, then, you know... You know, you know what though, I had it at my university, um, at the food court, whatever. Because I had a class in the same building, and I would get, I usually would get like, um, a vegan meal, whatever. And uh, one time I thought I'm gonna try some sushi. It was gross. Oh my god. I took it back. I was like, can I exchange this for something else? So, no, I wasn't vegan back then. No, I have the, there's this guy, the, the, this chef, whatever. He made this really amazing, like, grilled chicken sandwich. Oh, my God. I would have that with, like, carrots or, um, or fries, whatever. Mmm. It was so good. I never got junk food there, though. This restaurant is the best my restaurant My dad liked sushi. the pizza. Like, I, anyway. I went to Columbus. I, I, I. I went to Columbus State, okay, and I'll just say their cafeteria was pretty bomb. It's pretty bomb. It's awesome. Um, they have a really amazing, like, selection, whatever, and they even have now, like, they, they have tofu and everything, too, so when I go back this fall, I'm going to go to the cafeteria and see what their vegan options are, because I heard it's better than it, ha than it was when I was there, and I thought to myself, oh, they have, like, amazing, ve amazing vegan food, so... I'm gonna go enjoy my food okay so i am finished um this is how much edamame i've left how much edamame i did eat i did finish this sushi roll but i did not finish this one this one was okay i feel like i mainly ate it because like i was just like hungry but the sushi that was here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's like one of my favorites so when it comes to the calories oh god the sodium um, ah it's basic. already warning her about the sodium hey i know what app she's on she's on that NutraCal app i can tell because um, yeah, this food has 1,332 meg sodium. Your goal for today is to stay below 2,300. It's warning her. It is warning her. Is she not paying attention to the warnings? No. 600. I do have my goal set to 2,000, but that's not my actual goal. And yes, it is 5.30 p.m. As you can see the time right here, I got a very, very, very late start to eating. I just wasn't really hungry after like a weekend yeah, of I, I wait to eat today I eating was hungry pretty bad, either. if you ask me. So, yeah, 600 calories and I feel pretty content and full. So look at this cute little uh, water situation type deal. It's like a set that we got. Well, I don't want to water some. Can I water this one, baby? Look. Oh, she actually has real plants. It's amazing. They're looking Isn't good, it though. Isn't so cute? We got it off of Amazon. Really good. She actually got it. I love it. It definitely goes with our aesthetic. aesthetic. Oh, God, I fucking oh. hate you, Amber. Baby, what if I drink out of this? Could you slurp it, you think? Wait, can we try it? Yeah. No. It yeah. Ew. No. Ew. Ew. I think we're too weird. All right, you guys. Oh, God, that's Next gonna do it. round of events. By the way, by the way, before she gets in the torrid. If any but and if are any of you any of you fans of the boys series, you know, but you know the superhero series on Amazon. Holy crap! 
this season is crazy. <laughs> um, Hero Gasm was <laughs> even the actors had nightmare <laughs> nightmares about, and the people who worked on set like had nightmares. That was a crazy episode. Um, and then this episode was just like even more insane. But the whole octopus sex scenes, like bestial. <laughs> Holy crap! Like what the hell? Like, <laughs> if you you have to you'll have to watch it to understand. Cause I I just sat there. I'm just like, oh my god, what what is my life? <laughs> like, why am I watching? And then I stayed up really late and watched Stranger both the the new Stranger Things episode. It's it's over for this season. I I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but holy shit, you need to watch it. Like, oh my god, I was on my seat the whole time. Like I like I bit my nails down because I'm just sitting there like biting my nails. Like, <laughs> like what's happening next? Like, like they said that there was gonna be a a body count. There was a body count. Um, it's sad, but um. I'm kind of curious as to what season five is going to bring because apparently it's supposed to be the last season. So, are we going to have to wait another like four or five years for this? I, I think they're going to make us wait for a while just so the actors can grow up a bit because I heard there's going to be like a substantial like time jump, whatever, for, for season five. But I'm like, I really thought that it was going to be like Vecna was going to be gone. No, oh, I guess not. No, I don't want to, sorry, I don't want to get spoilers. But just watch it, you guys. Watch it. We have a torrid moment. It's much more compelling than this bullshit. So this is a shirt, which is a size 6. A lot of people ask, why do you say size 6 instead of like 6X? It's because I always go based off of what it says right here. And torrid does go off of sizes like that. Um, so it's just easier it's when like I'm doing a tour haul. Bit. Why are we blurry? Okay. It's just easier for when I'm doing a tour haul. I don't know. It's just what the tag says. So this is a really, really pretty pink. It's like a dusty that pink. Is it's just that like a pretty. tank top situation type deal. So I don't know what I would I'm not sure how this is going to go from the looks of it. It seems like it's going to be a little see-through. I would probably um, wear that with a pair of gray shorts like or jean shorts, whatever. A pair of flats, maybe. Or, or like white canvas. I don't know. I don't know. A lazy summer day kind of look. Put you guys down here. This right, girl, I ain't afraid to wear shorts. Oh, this is definitely nice. And no, it does not thin. fit you. And like I said, it does look see-through. For some reason, I thought it was going to be too small on me. Okay, I saw. Okay, I saw a picture of this on the Facebook groups, and they had a comparison of what like the model looked like compared to Amber. Like, no, it's way too tight on you, girl. It's supposed to be a lot looser. You need to get a size up. But no, it's no, not. <laughs> it's pretty loose. A lot of people also ask why I pluck. Insecurities, honey. I can be the skinniest person say in the world and still do this bit. Did like, she say it was a dress? Did you just say it was a dress? No, honey. It's a it's a shirt. She said it was a dress. It's just an insecure little tick that I do. So this is what it looks like up close. I know. And like you know she's always wearing here. the same fucking bra. You can't buy oh, no, another bra. Jeans, whatever. So yeah, this is just like a low key tank top that I'd probably just wear like a black cardigan with, you know? Okay, she's not calling it a dress. Oh my god, I thought she was calling it a dress. I'm like, bitch, that is no dress. That's like a four out of ten. I kind of eh, doesn't do anything for me. I okay, you guys, it is time for my next meal. Ooh, I have good. two cups of white rice, which came out to four hundred calories. Okay, there's this. Okay, I actually found this rice substitute on Amazon. Like, I heard about it. I was watching a, a, a YouTube cooking, um, cooking show or whatever, and, um, I'm gonna buy it because, like, it's, like, no carbs, whatever. It's supposed to be really, 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 really good. And I found, and I'm gonna get some, um, either make or get some more, um, barbecue tofu, um, because... I made barbecue tofu with with rice. Well, yeah, with white rice, um, and then had some corn, black bean, peas, whatever, and carrots. 
And my mom and dad loved it. Like, they're just like, oh my god, you're an amazing... Like, it just... It's so amazing, because, like, I'm, I'm not a good cook, and the fact that they enjoyed it, you know? Like, they just sat there, they were, like, stunned that I actually made it. I'm like, holy crap, they actually like this. Only thing about buying, like, pre-made barbecue tofu is, like, I had to add a little bit more barbecue sauce, and thank god I had the, 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 no, the, um, the no sugar one from Sweet Baby Ray's, because, like... Some of the the barbecue juice kind of fell out on the countertop. I'm like, great, I'm going to have to like put some more in there. But This actually looks pretty decent, though. I'm not going to lie. We have some bourbon chicken. Ooh, Came out to 200 sounds... calories. And I just have a little bit of light soy sauce. That so this meal really good, actually, is 600 calories. Chicken. And I am so pumped. They have bourbon to like, it? So hungry. I actually just got off the phone with my mom and my aunt. Uh, I know a lot of you ask, like, how's your mom doing? Phenomenal. She's doing amazing. Um, this year, actually, November 1st, will be seven years that she is clean and sober. <sighs> I never would have thunk it. All right. Now, celebratory bite for her. No, I'm just <laughs> Anyways, bourbon chicken. Have you guys ever had it? I know. I don't, I've never had it. It's amazing. And bad judgment. I had three slices of pepperoni pizza for $6.90. What? And three servings of baked cheddar and sour cream chips for 360. What? I forgot about this because. Oh my god. And my weight today was 485.2. No surprise. Back for this weekend. You're not even trying, are you? Hi, everybody. Bitch, you are not even trying. I got ice cream. She's upset. Oh, ice, ice cream. cream. But this is the last thing I'm having. <laughs> Look at and her. she's going to eat the whole fucking thing? <laughs> you can't have ice cream, baby girl. So this is the last thing I'm gonna be having. I've always it's wanted to try Halo Top, Halo Top though. Red Velvet, which is the best. How much fat is in this though? Not too bad. Any carbs. Ugh. See how? What's the serving? Two thirds. That's not bad. I would have only 120 calories for a serving. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna actually. When I go out tomorrow, I'm gonna get one of these. A Halo Top. See if I can get the. I like I, re I love red velvet. Like red velvet is like my favorite cake flavor. Um, I'm gonna try this. Is that actually not bad for like the ice cream? See, I, I only I would only have the servings. There's like three servings in that. Like no, that would, no no way. I would not eat the whole thing at once. Mm 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 mm. One serving is enough for me. 350 calories for one. I could Yum. not eat all that. Okay, I cannot so when eat I all that. That's this. just too Halo much. Top. I noticed this right here. It says, now Why can't you just have one serving? That's too much protein at once anyways. Didn't she say she has kidney stones? Don't you know you're supposed to be on a specific diet for, specific diet for kidney stones? You shouldn't have too much protein at once. This is why you need to see a uh, urologist and a uh, nephrologist. But what do I know, right? What do I know? And in my head, I was like, I've been addicted to these. And they have never said that before. So in my head, I was like, oh, that's cool. So it's going to like be just as great, just creamier. Like, everyone loves a creamy moment. Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> but you... Why did my mind just go to, to a dirty place when she said that? You guys, no. I'm recommending this to you as the one without that. Do not get the one that says now creamier. Well, the one I'm that I prefer get the is 10 creamier. calories more. And no, I'm going to get the one that's 10 calories less. This does not taste as good. It's even like a lighter pink. Usually it's like more of a red. I'm very sad. Um... <laughs> I've taken a couple bites. I like to like mix it and turn it into like this like creamy moment regardless. So that's what I'm in the middle of. But like, I don't want to steer you guys wrong. I never want to. So I'm letting you know, this one is not She's as good. She's throwing a fit um, over ice cream, And if you want to play guys. a little game, get one with this and then get one without it. Try it. Let me know which one you prefer because this ain't it, sis. This one tastes more like there's like fake sugars happening. Like there's like a protein taste. The other one doesn't have that. Like Halo Top, what are you doing? Fake sugar protein taste I, hey look you know what i it's probably it's probably healthier that's why you don't like it um i'm all for healthier i'd rather buy the healthier version than buy the 
non-healthier version. No, don't do this to me. Ugh, I'm devastated. I know it's like over something so freaking dumb, but damn. While we're here and we're sad about it, um, let me tell you how many steps I took, how many calories, and we are going to just and, uh, end. Just keep in mind, she's not burning as many calories as she thinks she is. If she was taking a walk, I think, you know, when I think about it, I think it's based on if you're taking a walk in a shorter space of time, aside, uh, uh, um, but like, other than like taking a walk, like walking throughout the day, whatever, I just don't think she's, she thinks she's burning all these calories, okay, when she's really not. No, sis the night because i am done eating it has been yeah um I'm trying to find my fitness hall on my phone okay calorie wise oh honey 2610 okay that's not Let's happening see. again tomorrow no it's not as Let's for see. steps um i didn't really try <laughs> whoopsies um that's also not happening again tomorrow i need to get back to like really trying oh, with my I don't steps have, I don't have it I, it's just like friday through sunday i become a different person i forget about routine i forget about walking and health and like eating less calories and stuff like i hate it i need to like learn how to like get out of that um but for steps i only did 2138 that's horrible um no tomorrow i want to do at least 4500 i'm thinking um, 4,500 between. You need to be actually 5, doing 10,000 yeah. steps um, today. That's like the video. normal. I hope that you guys have been enjoying. Oh, and I also have. Uh, like I can't. <laughs> like, that's a, that would be, that's hard for me just because I'm just having a lot of problems with my knees right now. Like, especially after I work out, it's like really it just it's really painful. And so, I was told by, by my doctor today that I need to get like compression things for my knees, um, for when I work out. And so, cause um, there's I'm putting a lot of pressure on, on, on that area when I have arthritis and I didn't know I had to wear like, stuff like that so I'm having to get that god sorry I just glanced over at my binder I have a lot yeah, I'm not allowed to do any working out until I get them and <laughs> my doctor because he's like you're gonna make the pr situation worse because I could barely walk the other day I was like oh shit a lot of like um therapy homework that I'm doing um which has been nice because it just like it makes this like whole therapy process just seem more real and it makes it seem more like something that's truly going to help me i feel like because like what my therapist or psychologist um wants me to do and such so i know a lot of people think i'm faking seeing a psychologist i don't understand why i think that's a very odd thing to you don't understand why how many years have you been on youtube amber the reputation that you have and you don't understand why bitch goodbye fake um Goodbye. i might start being like more open and talking more about it but it is supposed to be just like a personal thing i don't really know how else to prove that to you okay guys. You, don't, you don't have to spill every fucking detail but bitch bitch be like mm, it's kind of weird really um, i don't know why anyone would lie about something like that anyways i'm rambling i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye Goodbye. Okay, sorry, I thought I stopped recording. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the video. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. And until next time, peace out, my ninjas.